DFM. Today FM rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. In this bulletin, over 400 cases of non-compliance in court. Proper facilities imperative to student learning. And Trump maintains plan for legal strategy. From the studios of FBC Suva, Atera Lendua. Over 440 cases of non-compliance and consumer issues are currently pending before the courts. The Fijian Competition and Consumer Commission says while the compliance level has increased over time, they will not hesitate to charge traders who breach the law. Chief Executive Joel Abraham says the commission has changed its strategy to ensure the compliance level increases. With different seasons, we make sure that our focus is uh, on uh, on inspections that has to do with the festivity. Uh, why? Because this thing changes. Uh, so the type of businesses that we'll be looking at will change. During Diwali and during fest certain festivities, there's a peak in demand. And because there's a peak in demand, we have to make sure that the inspections and the compliance also show the same peak. So what we do is we map ourselves onto the... Uh, market demand patterns. School committees in the Maritime Islands are prioritizing teachers' well-being and safety to ensure they're not hesitant of being deployed to the maritime zones. The committees are also focused on ensuring that the best facilities are provided for maritime children to enhance learning. Uthiwai District School Committee on Moala Island in Lao believes quality school facilities are critical to boosting classroom study. Josai Nanunga has more. School manager Temo Tawakitini says around $11,000 was used to construct this new footpath to ensure the safety of students and teachers during wet season. We would like to thank the government's assistance in ensuring quality education is delivered to Fiji's future leaders. The committee and villagers have so far refurbished the teachers' quarters and classrooms. We want to ensure that teachers do enjoy their service while on the island. Meanwhile, Rural and Maritime Development Minister Iniasi Ruirato also commissioned a new Wawulek Leka -like community access in Tobu village, Totoya. I hope the new footbridge will improve uh, accessibility for the villages, especially students. And we are glad to be on the island to have one-on-one -on -one talks with you on various issues faced in the community and how we can address them. Turangani Korol Rimutupo says the footbridge has brought relief to these villages. This is something we've been wanting for years. At times our children are unable to attend classes due to poor access to schools. These villages were also given a chance to raise their concerns during the Talano session with the government officials, UN delegates and members of the civil society organizations. Chosei Anunga, FBC News. The Sow a Seed program of the Fiji Corrections Service has been hailed as success. The program was launched last year to assist incarcerated youths between the ages of 18 and 25. Director of Rehabilitation, Senior Superintendent Salote Panapasa says eight volunteers have successfully gone through the process, becoming mentors and sponsors for the first group in the program. Panapasa says five are now in society and continue to receive support. She says they identified the potential for change in these young people and are pleased with the outcome and support from society. Five have been released. Five are now in the community, and three are still serving. And all these uh, five uh, inmates, and three continue their studies at uh, FNU. Uh, one has been employed, and one is uh, running his farm uh, in the village. 22 arrests of breach of curfew were made over the last two days. Acting Commissioner of Police Rusiati Tundravu says between 11 p.m. Saturday and 4 a.m. Sunday, 15 reports were recorded. The Western Division recorded 6, Northern 5, Central 2, while the South and East 1 case each. 
All six cases recorded in the West involved men and a woman who were drunk in public in Nandi, Ba, Watukola, and Rakiraki. The two cases in the southern and eastern divisions involved men found loitering in public. A woman and a man in their 30s were found drunk in Suva. Four drunk men were arrested in the northern division, while a woman in her 30s was arrested in Sianganga and is being investigated for allegedly causing trouble with her neighbors. From 11 last night to 4 a.m. today, seven more reports were recorded. U.S. President Donald Trump, the first incumbent to lose a re-election bid in 28 years, has no plans to concede any time soon. Trump is still maintaining his plan to carry forward with legal strategy following his fraud allegation. Up ahead, Nakarao and Dolokoto yet to join flying Fijians. And Nandronga are ready for Premier Division. Bula FM, number two and seri. Bula FM, number two and seri. Glasgow Warriors players Mesulam in Dolokoto and Leon in Akarawa are the two players yet to join the Flying Fijians camp in France. The two are currently nursing injuries but are expected to join the camp later this week. Apart from Dolokoto and Nakarawa, all players including Semi Ranranra are in camp. O'Connor says the morale of the team has lifted with Ranranra joining after having suffered an injury and was uncertain about his involvement. Fiji will face France in the Autumn Nations Cup opener on Sunday. The performance of the young players in the Ram Sami Suva side has not gone unnoticed. Suva captain John Stewart has commended those who stood by the team throughout the season, whether they had the game time or not. Stewart says the young players stepped up during times when seasoned players were injured or unavailable. He adds they are one of the reasons the team is on track to winning its third skipper title in a row. I'd like to take this time to thank the young boys uh, for, first of all, to stick with the team. Uh, they were not given a lot of opportunity, for, uh, I think, for, for the first three or four games. But uh, they had faith. They had faith in the management and they stuck to the team. Once they got the opportunity to play, they proved themselves and they kept uh, carrying hopes for Suba until today. Guiding the Flow Valves Suva football side to winning the Vodafone Premier League title after a lapse of six years is a milestone achievement for captain Felipe Mbarabilala. The 26-year-old has finally won his first major title since joining the Whites in 2016. The emotional Barabilala says clinching the title alongside the young Suva players is the highlight of his football career. We have been looking forward for, for this uh, from a long time ago. Uh, we managed to work together as a team. Even though we had some ups and downs uh, from the beginning of the season, we didn't uh, play it as a team. But as we train together, train more, and uh, we managed to get that, uh, that uh, game plan from our coaches. Yes, uh, it's an honor playing uh, with this uh, bunch of uh, youth uh, players. Getting promoted to the Premier Division has been a long journey for the Nandranga football team. The Stallions hammered Boa 3-0 in the second leg of the Senior Division, securing their place in the Premier Division next season. Nandranga head coach Johnny Premier Williams says they are ready Williams for the big leagues. It's been a long journey for us, eight months and uh, 15 hard games. But at the beginning, we were confident and I trusted in the boys. Uh, the journey is over and we, now we look forward to the next level and the next season. We can expect generally fine warm weather this afternoon with a chance of isolated evening showers and perhaps a thunderstorm. And that's FBC News Now. Join us again at 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. 
You need news you can trust. Get the facts from FBC's TV, radio, and digital news at fbcnews.com.fj, keeping Fijians connected with the truth. Have a good week. Bula FM, number two and a Bula FM, number two and a